How about that cat though, right? Oh, it was so cute. Just yeah, a little kitty. So, so cute. cute little cat. Mm, I, like I don't like cats, but I like that cat. Just remain a kitten. Holder. I love puss. Hmm? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, you love what you can't get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Business, the only YouTube channel that tells you all how drunk you have to be to see a movie. Today we saw Keanu. Woo! Well, it's gonna be okay. You're right, Clarence. I want you to meet Keanu. No. <laughs> oh my god, that's the cutest guy I've ever seen in my life. Brought to you by Key and Peel. If you watch the show, I'm sure you know what this is, what this movie is. <laughs> And if you don't watch the show, you probably have no fucking idea what this movie is. Because most people, when I talked to them about seeing this movie, had no fucking idea where I was going. Basically, we see uh, Key and Peele, Jordan Peele, who's a character named Rel, who is going through a breakup. And this super, cute, breakup. This super cute cat shows up, and he falls in love. And then uh, that cat happens to be owned by a drug dealer, so they try to steal it from him. And the whole movie, it, well, they do steal it from him. And the whole movie is them trying to find this cat because he loves it so much. Why is your door open? Keanu. Keanu! I'm sorry. Oh, what's up, what's up, bro? I'm here because my place got broken into. Has anyone shady come by here? I mean, the 17th Street blips. The 17th Street blips. Okay, where are they? 17th Street. I think it was a better idea for a sketch that they try to stretch into an hour and a half long movie that didn't quite work. It's like when they try to take a Saturday Night Live sketch and turn that into a movie. Most of the time it doesn't work and this is one of those types. The cat was fucking ridiculous. It's the cutest cat I've ever seen in my entire life. So cute. <laughs> Great pet trainers. Gosh. So many shots of him running slow-mo away from bullets, and he's just like, run, Keanu, don't get, don't get killed. Go, please. kitty, go. A little kitten running through a drug house, dodging uh, bullets, stash houses shooting and bullets. shooting everywhere. And... Yeah, I agree. It was, uh, it was funny. I liked it a lot, but, uh, I mean, come on. It's... It's really hard to drag out uh, a kind of a sketch idea for a whole hour and a half. I mean, I I liked KP. I liked the show when it was on. I thought it was funny, but the whole time I was expecting either when when it got real slow, I was expecting a commercial, or I was expecting something else to start going, like a new skit. But uh, it was all right. The whole movie is like a case of mistaken identity. They're pretending yeah. they're gangsters. They're trying to like prove how tough they are to the real gangsters the whole movie and like it's funny at first and then it keeps going and going and it's like they get into the same problems the whole movie. Yeah, it was it was really funny, but at the same time, like we said already, the jokes kind of repeated themselves over and over again. There were some jokes yeah. that hit hard that made you laugh, but then they would try and reproduce those same jokes as another joke. This, and yeah. It just kind of fell short when they did something like that. <clears throat> they have this George Michael joke that continues through the whole movie, and it goes on way too fucking long. Yeah. yeah One of the tall yeah. guy, uh, Key, he's like upset. You, you first see him, listen, he's listening to George Michael in his car as he's driving, and then he's singing it as he's skipping to the door, and then every single time he's in the car, they have the same joke. Someone grabs his phone, clicks it, like, what the fuck is this? He's like, George Michael. my jam. <laughs> and they do, I think they do it probably four times. And uh, see what we got here. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, shit. This my shit right here. Freedom. They just keep doing the same shit over and over and over again. Sometimes it was like almost too serious. Yeah, yeah. exactly where there wasn't jokes and it was just like some like really horrible shit happening and you're just supposed to laugh because they're seeing something horrible <laughs> happen right in front of them and they're just like really afraid. It, it made you feel like you couldn't decide like what kind of movie it really was. It was meant to be comedy, but some of the scenes were a little too too much. It's just very apparent how it developed as a as a skit, you know, comedy idea to a movie. I mean, they, they came up with an idea, hey, look, 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 these two guys think they're, you know, mistaken for gangsters, and then they go and do this, and they're trying to get their cat, 
and I get where the evolution came along, but then you could also tell where they're like, oh, well, we have to make this into a movie and we have to like pull on some heartstrings or something. Yeah. And so they're like, yeah. well, we're going to have this guy get shot or whatever. Like, and so it kind of just seemed really added on. I'm like, dude, come on. This is the, all the downtime, all the like sentimental parts. That's where there would normally be commercials if it was a watching <laughs> K and Peel. It would definitely be a long skit if they did it on TV, <laughs> but it didn't have to be an hour and a half. Yeah. If this was like, 25 minutes or 45 Absolutely. minutes yeah. this would be perfect as like a <clears throat> long two-part episode or something of their show Keanu needs you I need you where are you shit what do you think my idea of fun was why are you talking to me like that I, I talk like that sometimes why you drive this weak ass van? You wanna never get pulled over again? You drive an inconspicuous family vehicle. It was funny, I, I liked it a lot, and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I didn't laugh, because I thought it was hilarious. And I like these guys, I like Cam Peel, I like their show when it was on Comedy Central. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I mean, it almost, it feels forced. It's like, I, if anything, give me another season of Cam Peel, don't give me a movie. Like, Keanu! I think uh, I speak for us all when I say uh, this is a perfect drunk movie. Yeah. Get drunk, don't see it in theaters. <laughs> I would rent this when it comes yeah. out on iTunes <clears throat> and then get drunk. That way you can just walk away and text someone when the boring <laughs> shit is happening or take a piss or whatever. Yeah. Get another plate of nachos. <laughs> whatever the fuck you have to do to get through this because the funny parts are funny. By the way, if you're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory before this movie, have a couple drinks with your honey, and then come in and decide, I'm gonna go in like half an hour remaining the movie, don't fucking do it. And you know what on top of that? If you decide you're gonna talk the whole fucking time, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> oh, this is me holding my anger back. That might have been why I kind of gave such a negative score in this movie, because a couple behind me decided to make it so enjoyable. So don't do that. We hope you're watching this now. <laughs> I, mean, I hope your house is on fire when you're watching this. I hope you go home to Netflix and chill and your whole place burns to the ground. <laughs> wow. Until next time, keep on drinking. <laughs> Don't talk in the theater. <laughs>